have. Dawn is in Gilbert, Arizona. Hi, Dawn. How are you? Hi, Mr. Ramsey. I'm so excited to talk to you. How are you? Better than I deserve. How can I help? Good. My husband is currently in dental school. He's in his second year. He'll graduate in 2017. We are currently living off of the student loans. I stay at home with our children. Good Lord. And I was just wondering what what we do as far like when he graduates, we'll only have the student loan debt. Only. But unfortunately, it's yes, it's a private school too. So oh we're going to be out about four hundred and fifty thousand. Oh God. Yes, and so I was wondering, how do we pay that off and buy a practice and hopefully one day buy a home if we all if we want to stay out of debt? We don't want to do everything at once. Well, I guess we should have thought of that before we went this route. Is this going to be a while? <laughs> well, you go where you're accepted. <laughs> it's going to be a so, while. Well, yeah. you don't. You don't. I mean, the, the, I mean, you got a half million. You're not buying a practice or a house for a long time. You got four hundred fifty thousand dollars. You got to pay off. Right. That's how you do it. I mean. So does he just partner, go with like a partner associateship before yep. he gets into his own? Or? Yeah, you can't afford to go another half million dollars in debt and buy a practice and half million dollars in debt and buy a house. You're going to completely break yourself. Mm-hmm. You, so you've got to just stop and go, okay, we, you know, we made this decision to, to, to you know, we were accepted here and we made the decision to go to an ex- not only dental school, but an expensive dental school. Oh my mm-hmm. gosh! And, and it, so that decision delays home ownership. That decision delays buying a practice because you got a dadgum huge hole you got to fill up first. And, right. And, you know, and there's no avoiding this because if you go do the normal thing you're talking about doing and go out here and, and you know go into debt to buy a practice and go into debt to buy a house, you're going to bankrupt yourself because dentists mm-hmm. make good money, but they don't make that kind of money where you're a million right. and a half in debt. You can't even talk about that. You've, you've, you've limited your choices. Um, so, I mean, you could try it, but it, it's going to kill you. So I, I think you've just set yourself in for a long winter's nap. I mean, that's the deal. So as he graduates, you're, he's going to take an associate or a partner or whatever, where he's got no cash outlay, where they pay him to come into the practice. And then they start writing him nice, big, fat, hairy checks, and you guys live like you're on college students uh, and, and spend the next few years cleaning up the $450,000 mess you're in. Oh, baby girl. What a mess. Oh, scares me to death. My made my stomach hurt. Wow.